cup, right? And I write about this in my first book, chapter two, about, you know, filling your cup up. But see your cup, if it's like properly full, like the stuff starts to flow out, like all the crap. Mm. So you're going to have negative stuff every day. Yeah. There's going to be like the kid cries, um, you turn the news on, um, someone gives you the finger on the road, um, someone, you know, takes your coffee cup, whatever, whatever's your thing, whatever's your trigger, there's going to be daily triggers. So if you fill your cup up, what you're doing is all the triggers in that cup are overflowing out because there's not enough room for the crap because you've got so much good in yeah, you. Yeah, it's true. And it's growing that resilience where things don't bother you so much. Bounces. Like that person is just like that. You're just like, it's fine. It just doesn't bother. It doesn't you don't react because you're like, oh, too much good stuff going on. But yeah. that stuff, you know, I don't take it to heart or like, I don't take it personally or mm. you can just let it be. You let just, it be or oh, let it be. Play that. That's a great one. That's a good, good. And, uh, That's and a good one. Also take note of your triggers. So yeah. when I've exploded mm. last year, I've got three times where I screwed up that I can think of. One of the triggers was I was drinking. So I was unconscious in the sense that I wasn't off my face unconscious in a gutter, <laughs> but I've had enough to perhaps when I was triggered by yeah. drama to not, yeah, I didn't choose love. Mm. I chose yeah. judgment. Yeah. Um, that happens a lot though, isn't it? Drinking is a common one. The way we usually act mm. isn't the way we react when we've had loads of drink because yeah. we don't have that kind of well we don't, we do we we're much more reactive aren't we we do react we take things personally when yeah. they're not personal yeah. the person that um triggered me they've got a lot of pain that's why they mm. did that they were trying to get a reaction they wanted drama and mm. i gave them it yeah what i should have done was give them a hug and say i'm really sorry what you said hurt me but i'm really sorry mm. um and the other times where well i'll talk about this but there's so many things like pms lack of sleep lack of mm. exercise know your triggers yeah. write them down so when you go off on one get that notepad out and write mm. this is where i screwed up here why was that let's troubleshoot mm. so that we've got a set of tools so that when i'm going into that i've got my armor on yeah so you're self-aware about it isn't it so self-aware next time you're kind of like oh no i'm, I'm knackered i need to get some sleep because otherwise i'm gonna yeah lose it <laughs> yeah just being ready just being prepared being yeah. like this is you know I'm hungover or I've drunk too much or you know, I don't want to get into that conversation with that person right now because my you know I'm not thinking clearly or mm. just yeah having that self-awareness hard, so hard. Important. it's would you say it's daily though yeah totally you have to check in every day you have to check in every you know hour constantly be checking in 100% let's do less check-ins on social media oh my god do check-ins internally 100% and more check-ins with ourselves yeah you know? love it yeah that's what I'm going to take